Well, hello everyone and welcome to Columbia Precast. Uh, we're going to take a tour of our facility today. Uh, just a little bit of information about uh, the building. It was built in 2016. It is uh, 51,000 square feet. It has um, four overhead cranes uh, made by Whiting, uh, two 20-ton cranes and two 10-ton cranes. We have uh, two Harup two-yard mixers here uh, and a complete Harup batch plant to support it. We have a Hawkeye Plus Plus machine. We have um, a Schnell Coil 20 a rebar processing machine and the Schlusselbauer Perfect Base System all in this plant. So we'll do our best here today to point out some of the uh, things we took into consideration uh, while we were building the building and then point out the, um, the equipment itself. So what you can see behind me is uh, obviously, you know, the craneway uh, off to uh, your left is where all the batching is and um, off to your right is, is really where all of our rebar processing is. Um, and uh, in addition to all that, we have uh, uh, the building is plumbed with steam. Uh, every other uh, post in the building uh, has water, power, and air. Uh, the steam unit has uh, four drop downs, four zones, if you will, all controlled by a PLC. It's a uh, uh, gas fired, uh, natural gas fired Sioux uh, steam generator. We also have a uh, hot water uh, heater in the plant, uh, plumbed into the batch plant as well. When we built the building, we did our best to really take advantage of uh, the new technology and try to gain efficiencies anywhere we can. So right now, where I'm standing is uh, in actually one of the kilns for our dry cast uh, area. We have chameleon uh, retractable kilns, two of them. Uh, so, you know, on a given day when we're doing dry cast, the area that I'm in right now would have dry cast sitting here and then we would put all the rails in and, and get, get the uh, kiln retracted and, and, and fill it full of steam and, and uh, strip them out in the morning and, and do it all over again. So off to my right, I'll have Trevor pan a little bit. Uh, this area that we're looking at here is our QC lab. Uh, upstairs we have offices for our management, so the far right window is our plant manager and then quality control and assistant plant manager up there. Uh, we won't go up there, but behind uh, those um, or across the hall from those offices is our break room. And right below the break room is our um, locker room for our employees. So again, these two offices are made for the QC lab. Uh, you can obviously see we have a posi turner. And this is a turning uh, mechanism that comes with the Schlusselbauer Perfect Base System uh, because those are poured upside down, obviously monolithic. We, we strip those and turn them and set them back on the floor with that uh, uh, mechanism there. And um, that is uh, power. So you'll see a cord, possibly see a cord hanging down there. We had to add a, a 110 outlet to one of our cranes so we could actually um, operate uh, that piece of equipment. Well, right now I'm standing in front of our quality control lab. And Trevor's going to walk in and give you a little bird's eye view of, of the lab. Uh, we do all of our testing here. We do our dry cast cylinders here. And of course, we break our cylinders, do all of our aggregate testing, etc. So I'll let Trevor come on in and show you. The room is cinder blocked all the way to the top with a uh, floor drain in case we have a spill or need to hose everything down. We bought this brake machine that you'll see here in a minute at the last precast show. Nice thing about it is, is it pushes all the data right to the computer. All the calculations are done. So right now I'm standing in the dry cast kiln area. We don't run dry cast all year long. Typically we do during the summer, but as demand goes down during the winter, we'll pull some wet cast into this area like you see before us now. These are chameleon kilns, rails on the floor. They retract and you know accordion in and out every night. The plant is plumbed with a Sioux uh, steam generator, natural gas fired. It has four zones, it's run off a of PLC. And so at the end of a dry cast shift, or in this case, wet cast, we'll pull the kiln shut, we'll insert steam up underneath it, and uh, you know let it steam overnight and strip it out in the morning. Right now, we're making some stone strong wall systems. We've got a few manholes in here. And uh, we'll start walking this way now toward uh, the Hawkeye Plus Plus machine. So uh, we do a lot of drainage here and in this plant. We, we do 
make a lot of different products, probably everything with the exception of concrete pipe. So as uh, we go through the plant, you'll see kind of a combination of things, but our primary uh, uh, core business is underground utility products, manholes, vaults, catch basins, etc. Now we are NPCA certified and we're also uh, PCI certified, so we do some pre-stressing outside, which we won't be able to see today, but we do pre-stress uh, deck panels, so we're level B2. And we also have another facility outside with a 1.2 yard hard batch plant that we build all of our large uh, culverts. So we actually have a pretty good culvert market here in the Northwest, and we do a lot of large structures that way too. So as we continue on through, you'll see um, to, to your right uh, is our uh, hydro roll machine uh, that uh, we roll all of our manhole cages on this machine. If you notice behind it, there's a yellow, uh, excuse me, a gray box up against the wall. That's actually the control system for the uh, steam generator. So it runs si very similar. If you've never seen one, it runs very similar to a sprinkler system. Uh, you know, you program in your zone, you ramp up, you hold, you ramp down, and so on, and, and it, it talks to the uh, to the computer and, and, and keeps everything within spec. So off to your left is our Hawkeye Plus Plus machine. Now again, uh, we do a lot of dry cast manhole and catch basins on this machine. We actually do monolithic bases on it. We have two flipping devices. So in two of those three stations, we can have a flipping device and actually make a monolithic base. Uh, we make catch basins on it and, and manhole bases. We also make a perforated dry well that is a, a pretty impressive form to, to see that Hawkeye made for us. Again, not in operation right now, mainly because of time of year. During the summer, we'll run this five days, six days a week, 20 plus turns in a ship. So we'll make about 60 to 70 products as a, as a round number per day on this uh, piece of equipment. We do run Titan here. We have the Titan uh, uh, operating system, and we really try to monitor our orders as they come in relative to our backlog, so that drives our production on uh, dry cast. So we're able to stay ahead of our customers, in some cases, you know, a month, two months, on those fast-moving, high-moving uh, products. So when we built the plant, uh, we sold a project that had some pretty intricate cages. And never before had uh, I seen a Schnell uh, coil, rebar coil machine. So off to my right, uh, and your right, as we walk through the plant here, you'll see our Schnell coil 20. It, it can process three bar up to six bar, any two dimensional shape or circle hoop. It essentially just in time rebar. So we don't buy uh, straight sticks of rebar. We don't buy 20 foot bundles or anything like that. We basically process everything on a job by job basis. So every every cage you see on the ground, these are all noise wall cages for all the forms behind us. All that product is, is uh, processed through the Schnell machine. So this is another good good spot to stop here. You, I'll have Trevor pan around a little bit and you'll get a little better uh, uh, sense for what's going on here. But essentially, it's, it's what I described. We're uh, uh, processing rebar just in time. If we have a large order like these noise walls, we'll make some bins and try to get you know the high volume items uh, uh, stocked and, and made. Um, as we kind of pan over to the left, you'll see the hard, one of the hard batch plants. Uh, this is primarily for dry cast, although we can, um, excuse me, we can uh, uh, produce wet cast here, and we do from time to time. Two-yard mixer, uh, the one thing we added to this batch plant that in my career I hadn't done before is you might be able to see up there there's some gray bottles, and those bottles are actually for admixture, so the admixture is weighed uh, by volume and weight similar to all of our other raw materials versus a uh, more traditional uh, pulse type system and 
that is really, really accurate. We've had virtually no problems with it in the uh, four years that we've been here. All of our batch plants have that. Um, our batch plants are powered by uh, Columbia machine controls. We have level sensors in the silos so that you know we know how much cement and fly ash is in each silo at any given time. Big help there. So again, uh, as we move this way, uh, what you see behind us is we're doing a rather large noise wall job for Washington DOT. All the forms you see that are blue were made by Hamilton Form out of Dallas. The green forms are made from Mark's Metals here in Portland. All the blue forms are hydraulic rollback walls and they're gang forms. So each form can make two walls at a given time. And as we get closer, pay attention, you'll see catwalks, you'll see uh, big hydraulics, and uh, it really uh, lends itself to high efficiency production. We're toward the tail end of our production for the day, so we're putting cages in the last couple forms. And um, it's about two o'clock our time, we'll start pouring concrete here probably in the next 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So we'll keep on going, folks, here. These are some noise barrier forms here uh, for that project. Keep going, DJ, you're good. Obviously, all the cranes, you can see DJ operating the crane here. They're all remote control. They have uh, hardwired backups if we, if we have an issue there. We work really hard here keeping the plant clean. Everybody that's watching this knows how hard it is to keep a concrete plant clean, but we just really, really try hard to keep it clean and orderly as best we can. Now, I don't, let's, as we go this way, uh, you kind of look, look through that slot there. I apologize for the, some of the patterns that are up against the wall, but that's a Kanban system. So we did employ a Kanban system here, and it works great. Um, some of you probably know what a Kanban is. If not, it's, a, it's an inventory control system for lifters, anchors, stuff that we seem to run out right at the time we need it, you know, spacers, so on and so forth. We also do have fastenal machines here. I didn't really show you that, but we do uh, have those fastenal uh, vending machines for uh, probably about 40 items, no more. Those have been very helpful as well. This is a big uh, form we got from Mark's Metals. It's a noise wall with an integral barrier that's going to sit on footings uh, with rebar sticking out of the footings that need to be grouted in. So all those pins you see are relative, uh, essentially uh, locators for a three inch piece of galvanized steel that will eventually get filled with grout in the field. So both the barrier and the wall have grout tubes in them. Pretty pretty intricate form. And you can see if Trevor pans over, some, some are angled. So, so this is actually for the wall and this is actually for the road barrier. Those pins are only about this long. You know, they'll pop right out, but they're basically like a locator you might see in an electrical vault for a terminator, something like that. Uh, this is a pretty typical tool rack of ours. Uh, right now it's in use. You can see the guys have all their tools on it. Those are actually pretty handy. We, we have a responsible person for each tool cart to make sure that they're um, you know kept in order and each each area they don't move a whole lot but they're kind of positioned in a, in a in a strategic location let's call it that each crew decides is best for them um, if we tip this down there it's kind of like a pegboard or in your shop where you know there's a spot for each each piece and part um, again here's our uh, Here's our uh, other uh, heart mixer. If you can hear that that pump going over there, that's actually all of our admixture in those big tanks back there that's pumping it up to the, the gray bottles that I mentioned earlier. And so what that tells me is we're getting pretty close to pouring because we're, we're starting to fire up the batch plant. As you can see, what's going on behind me here is uh, the, the guys are making a 12-foot wide noise wall. They're pouring on their side. 
These have pilasters uh, and large um, steel plates with all thread, which is what you see on the floor over there. That said, you can see they're gonna, when this is all ready to go, they'll hit the hydraulics, that'll close, and then they'll start putting the bolts in for the, uh, the end headers there, and, and we'll be ready to pour. So, it may not look like we're that close to pouring, but we're actually pretty darn close to pouring. Storms are very efficient. They're, they work very well. Uh, Hamilton did a great job, and uh, we, uh, we're uh, enjoying using the form. They're nice forms. On this particular job, the, the job requires three different size pilasters, so we have different pallets and headers for all three different width of pilaster, one foot five, one foot seven, and one foot nine. And you can see we built some racking here to uh, help store uh, the product right on the form. Doesn't interfere with the hydraulics. So everything seems to be working just fine. We've been producing this project for about three months now. And again, you can see we got catwalks on the ends, down the middle. You know, trying to invest in that farm equipment to reduce the labors, make it easier on the guys. So every day we have to pull the liner off, cut it because the walls are getting shorter, and then reapply it or re-screw it essentially to the form. So what you can't see in these forms is there's about a gajillion little quarter-inch pinholes, you know, in the steel for, for screws to go into the back. So right now we're at the end of the uh, plant. And if we kind of pan over a little bit to the left, uh, that's a maintenance area that we're in the process of moving. Uh, that room is the Schusselbauer perfect base room. We'll take a walk in there. And, uh, but, you know, probably, uh, I don't know, two, three months down the line, all that equipment you see will be gone. And this will be more of a storage area, but we're in a little bit of transition right now. But that's, that's what's going on there. So this is the solution about our perfect base room. It's essentially a clean room. And the best, you know, the best way to kind of describe what's going on here for those of you that haven't seen one is it's a, it's a hot wire system that operates similar to maybe a CNC machine. And so, you know, from the blueprints through Titan to the solution about our software, uh, we get channels uh, uh, made here uh, we, we cut everything, we hot wire everything and glue it together and whatnot, cast it into a uh, monolithic base, the next day flip it over, pull the, uh, pull the foam out and then we've got a, uh, a, a, a channel uh, for a sewer manhole. Now in these, what you see here, these are uh, product that are going to be uh, probably get a corn seal boot style adapter but we also in some of our markets have to cast a gasket in and we use a Hamilton Kent gasket, as you can see here. But this is a pretty sophisticated piece of equipment. We can also make any two-dimensional block out, so any circle, any square rectangle, etc. Some of our customers have found out that we can do this, so we can get calls occasionally from our customers who might be doing something in place and, hey, can you make us a, a, a you know, 40 inch circle or, or whatever. Uh, we do have a few sister companies that'll utilize this room as well. Uh, H2 Precast, Cascade Concrete, and Show Concrete are our primary sister companies. So that's what's going on here. Again, this, this area here is a little in transition, let's call it. Uh, and this is the last thing I'll, I'll show you here. Uh, this is an outbuilding that we have, 6,000 square feet. It's got two uh, Trelleborg Hydrocore coring machines. And we're going to close in one of the sections of that and make it a maintenance area. Then we're in the process of doing that now. So that's pretty much the tour. Um, I want to thank everybody for, for joining us. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, uh, send them through the NPCA, and we'll do our best to, to get them answered. But. Thanks again and uh, appreciate everybody's time.